energy. Put in your booby rocks. Live your best life. Keep doing you. so much for having me on here it's a pleasure really bobby nice to meet you same same here jeff jones was asking before the show if bobby needs help he's maybe stuck in the basement <laughs> <laughs> it puts the lotion on the skin <laughs> <laughs> all right so let's talk about some fun things that have happened this week or that i've seen this week i read a study that said the mayo clinic offer special chocolate heart transplants for Valentine's Day. So they'll take your real heart out and put a chocolate one in for you. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> that sounds amazing. <laughs> then it made me think, like, I already know people that have cold, dead hearts. So yay for them. That would work. Ah. It would be a same transplant. Nice. <laughs> yes, yes. Okay, and then I found another study that says wearing socks to bed makes you fall asleep faster. Really? Do you know that? I've never yeah. heard that. Oh. I know some doctor came out on TikTok. So, I mean, it's got to be real. So she was saying that if you wear socks, it's because you, like, it, it warms your feet, but it cools your body down, I guess, which really would make me get warmer. Uh, I'm going to try that. Would you wear the socks that you've already had on that day, or do you got to put on new socks for bed? <clears throat> or oh, do you, the ones yeah, if you put on new socks before bed, can you just wear them the next day? Where's probably, that, carry, probably where's that smell. carrying over from? Oh, I think you it's could, just, yeah. Oh, go ahead, Bobby. Yeah, you could probably wear them forever. Just use Gorilla Glue. That would work. <laughs> <laughs> it's for TikTok. It's okay. Uh, too soon? I do wear one sock to bed every night, though. Literally. On your hand? You swear. No! <laughs> <laughs> I sock up in the middle of the night right there, Josh. <laughs> <laughs> no, I have one cold foot. I don't know. It gets cold every night. It's oh. on my left. I don't know what happened. <laughs> the other thing about um, if you wear socks, in Jeff Jones's case, he wears them with sandals. So that's also some birth no, control. No, Jen, I'm, I don't. Do I look like some kind of psychopath? Yes. Who wears socks <laughs> with sandals? You know who does that? Insane people. <laughs> I know. God, give me the collie wobbles. <laughs> <laughs> oh man i think i told you before that when peanut was little like when our daughter was little she would call those jesus cruisers hey mom yep. where are my jesus cruisers for her sandals oh yes that was Thanks. funny good times oh okay this is a random fact uh octopus the octopuses is it octopuses octopus, octopus? i don't yeah. think it's is it octopi is it one or octopus. Anyways, whatever they are, you know, the eight-legged things, they punch fish. They just punch fish randomly when they swim by. What's that about? <laughs> I've seen that. It's Why are they the doing footage. that? Is that they new? Is that a grudge? Is that something that's just now starting? Well, been I around? guess they figured it out. Like they said that there's three different reasons why. Um, it could be to control the fish where the fish are swimming. Maybe the octopus doesn't like, hey, you're too no, close. No. I'm gonna punch you Bossy. away from me. Um, and it's, it could be a form of punishment, you know, like, I don't know who's just slapping fish. Oh, actually, I have seen that on Alaskan bush people. <laughs> the one kid slaps the fish. He, he fishes and then he punches the fish. <laughs> <laughs> this is in fish, Maine. <laughs> I was like, dang, poor fish. What happened? I know you're so really, you're not really selling the octopus. You're making the octopus out to be the a-holes of the ocean. I know, but if I had eight eight arms, I'd be slapping people too. You seem awfully right. bossy. 
I don't know. And then, oh, I shared this with Jeff Jones. Bobby, I don't know if you saw this online. Um, one of my friends, not that you would have seen it from my friend posting this, but my buddy Tanya, she posted this meme that said, William Shatner has discontinued his new line of ladies lingerie. Okay, ladies lingerie. Because apparently Shatner panties <laughs> wasn't, <laughs> wasn't a good idea. <laughs> Shatner panties. Shatner. Nice, nice. Panties. Oh my god. Uh, I think the whole lingerie nice. line would be ruined just with Shatner, don't you think? I don't. Yeah. Like Shatner bra and That's... panties. That'd be terrible. <laughs> Shatner socks. Oh my god. <laughs> oh my god. All right. So Bobby, buddy, why don't you tell us a little bit about yourself here? Well, uh, personally, um, what I, I'm a maintenance tech at a property off of Monroe Road. Anyways, that, that area of Charlotte. Okay. I just started there a few weeks ago. Yeah. All right. And uh, it's, for el- it's for elderly people. So it's going okay. to be a fun experience. Yeah. Nice. I like to use yep. the word geriatric. That's a favorite word I have. I use geriatric. Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> You got me. You got me. I, I need PC? to learn a little bit. <laughs> I, I don't think that's PC. No. I don't know. Is it? Oh, we had senior citizen sun or senior citizen day at the school I worked at, like for haircuts, and I'd call it geriatric day. I don't know. Geriatric oh, is just nice. is representing yeah. an age. <laughs> I suppose. Yes. <laughs> My intent isn't crappy. No. <laughs> All right, Shatner. Bobby. What else you got? What else you got? Yeah, uh, well, basically, uh, I'm into music. I do a little bit of singing. Okay. Uh, I love comedy. Uh, nice. Something, something that a lot of people don't know about me is I actually, I studied, uh, I have a bachelor's degree in religious studies because I wanted to be a chaplain in the military. Oh, okay. And, uh, but, but life, you know, the course of life kind of changed a little bit. And I just went back to my old vocation, which is maintenance in an apartment complex. But uh, comedy is probably the, the most, the, the thing that consumes most of my life. You know? Yeah, yeah. As you could see That's online. actually how Bobby and I met, like through the little comedy yeah. channels. So, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, good nice. time. Yeah, so that's, yeah, that's pretty much what my life is about. Okay, awesome. <laughs> nice. Yeah. I know what you Super. mean there, Bobby. I wanted to be a skydiving videographer, the guy who jumps out with the camera and records when people go skydiving. And <laughs> put a kibosh on that, but this is as close as I can get. Yeah. Oh, wow. Speaking of Shatner, your pants there, holy cow. That'd be terrible. I, I was watching this one stand up comic. Oh, gosh. I'm trying to think what her name was. Um, oh, I'll think of it in a hot second. But she was talking about how she went to skydiving. She wanted it for her birthday. And when she called, they told her there'd be an extra charge because she was larger. And, and like, and it was more stress on the the person that would be strapped to her back. And she's like, what kind of stress? Like, yeah. I'm going to snap his back or like he just can't sleep at night. You know what I mean? <laughs> like, right. <laughs> and then they were only going to charge her 30 extra dollars. She's like, what the crap? Why wouldn't they just tell me it was like 280 instead of this whole elaborate story that it's 250 plus this? Yeah, just sit down <laughs> and call it. Yeah. Wow. Gosh, oh my gosh. I'm pretty sure her name was Marla. I think her name was Marla. We just watched it. Oh man, so good. So funny. But that's so crazy. You're going to have an an upcharge for her being a little bit larger and then it being $30. Like, that's just silly. Too much. Too much. Shipping and handling. Shipping and handling. (laughs) Did you have any, did anyone else have anything fun from this week? Going on this week? Nope, had both my kids' birthdays. One turned 12, one just turned 16. Oh, dad's crazy. Yep. Yeah. He's all excited. Well, yeah. Well, earlier today, I took my wife to a, well, we, we were going to go to a steakhouse, a Brazilian steakhouse in Charlotte. And right before we left the house, uh, I asked my wife, I forgot what the question was, but I, I got a little bit of an attitude uh-huh. with her. And as I turned away, I have my coffee in my hand going up the steps into the house and I tripped and dropped my coffee. Oh. So 
it was it was a bad you know it was a bad situation because I needed that coffee in my life and and then I didn't really turn around and say look I'm sorry but anyways that's a separate story you know how oh, that works. No. I'm sorry about yeah. your coffee and the attitude that's <laughs> terrible I probably would have laughed though because I do laugh like yeah. if people trip anyone that trips it's a it's a game over for me I'm yeah, laughing if you have you. something in your hands yeah you I normally wait to see if is he okay or she okay and then I just bust out laughing you know yeah that's about it yeah. oh <laughs> some, sometimes I just can't help I can't even hold it yeah. yeah. <laughs> this was kind of jacked up happened to me. Took the youngest yesterday to pick his friend up at his house. And before his mom had dropped him off all winter, the mom's been bringing him over, dropping him off because they don't think I can make it up the road. I drive a small car. I didn't even think of that. Pull in there, start going up the road. I'm like, oh, that's right. They were sketchy about me even making it up there. So I made it all the way up the road, pull in their driveway. It's all flat and everything. Pick the kid up, got stuck on a flat driveway. <laughs> it wasn't even oh. like slippery ice. I was just on a flat driveway. I'm sitting there and trying to get <laughs> oh, the car couldn't even get going. <laughs> I couldn't even, there was so deep of snow because they drive trucks and they don't even bother shoveling or plowing. And there was like, I don't know, 18 inches of snow. Yeah. And I just come to a stop, wow. pick the kid up. As soon as I start to go, made it about four inches and the car just sat there. <laughs> I don't know. Oh. He's looking at me and he's like, dad, are we stuck? I go, we can't be. We're on a flat ground. This is flat ground. We're in a car. <laughs> As I look over, the mom, the grandma, and the grandpa are all in the front door staring out the window at me. Yep. That's annoying. Yep. So I got out, and I kind of look underneath the car, and I'm like, there's just that much snow built up under there. So I grabbed a shovel, started shoveling a little bit. The grandfather come out. He's like, I don't have any rock salt or anything, but I got some ashes from the fireplace. So he went inside, got two buckets of ashes out of their fireplace, threw that down in front of me, and <laughs> lo and behold, I got going. But I was stuck oh. for about 10 minutes. Feeling like quite an ass. Oh my god. The whole god. time I was just belief that I was even stuck because there's no reason I should be stuck right there right now. Yeah. But <laughs> embarrassing that happened. Wow. That is embarrassing. Yep. I have to get back. Yeah. That's all right. It happens. Yep. I took Ma's car today, dropped the kid off because she was over. Her car is four wheel drive. Oh nice. When I ran him home. I just took her car. Plus she was behind me. Yeah. Like her car was parked behind me. Ashes on the ground. I never would have even thought of that. <laughs> He didn't, I don't know. He's like, that's all I got. Heard that. We're like, okay, we'll try it there. <laughs> like, yeah, if you think you have enough. Yeah, he had two five-gallon buckets of it. Just oh, my made, gosh. I know. I had no problem getting out. As soon as he put that down, I don't know what happened. I just rolled it right out of there. That's yeah. crazy. Yay for the ashes. I know. Are you there? <clears throat> yeah, you got to make that part of your part of your kit in the back, jumper cables and 10 gallons of ashes. Yep, buckets yeah. of ashes. And maybe some ahead. cardboard because you could slip some cardboard under there. And if you had a break dance, I mean, you could break dance at any time in any park lots. I was about five seconds from putting the 12 year old behind the wheel wide. <laughs> the car. That was my next go to <laughs> option. Oh, man. Ooh, um, good times. Yeah. Okay. Oh, let me tell you real quick about this. Uh, there was a guy that was driving a Corvette on the way to work once and when we lived in Michigan and he came around the bend real quick, too quick, a little bit sassy quick, and he hit the curb. So he popped up on the curb in the snow and I pulled over because I had a Jeep and he's like, yeah, can you pull me out? I was like, no, but I can push you. And he laughed at me. And I, you know, when you get that rage that you're like, <laughs> oh, you think it's funny? Like, I'm serious. Because I had on, like, high-heeled boots. And right. I, like, punched those heels in the ground. And I took those 18-inch man calves and I made it work. I was like, you need to rock it. I'm like, is this a stick shift? I was like, you need to rock <laughs> this thing. You know, when you, like, go and then Yeah, that's back. what I was go. trying to do in my goofy yeah. automatic. And I got him out and he's like, oh, uh, thanks. Like, you could have just pulled me with your Jeep. Like, I'm <laughs> like yeah. <laughs> The Jeep thing. Yeah, I'd rather blow out a kidney, I guess, than try to prove myself. <laughs> <laughs> no. So dumb. Look, note nice. to self, everybody, don't risk your internal organs just to, you know, show off. It's not a good look. Mm, no. Worth it. Yeah. All right. I think it's time for a commercial break. <laughs> This segment of So Much Genergy is brought to you by February's birthstone, Amethyst. Amethyst. Amethyst is a powerful and protective stone. Powerful and protective stone. 
amethyst protects against psychic attack. Psychic attack. attack. Amethyst transmutes that energy into love and protects the wearer from all types of harm, including electromagnetic and ill wishes from others. Ill wishes from others. Amethyst calms and stimulates the mind, enhancing memory and motivation. Enhances memory and motivation. Alvidazane amethyst. Alvidazane. Alvidazane amethyst. Alvidazane. Are you tired of having to exhaust yourself blowing out all those birthday candles? Or get lightheaded having to blow all the dust off your TV stand and your bookshelf? Well, not anymore. With air in a can. From the ingenious minds that brought you bottled water comes air in a can. That's right, it's air in a can. Who knows how many breaths you have left? Don't waste them blowing out candles, blowing up balloons, or worse, blowing dust around your house. Ugh. Instead, waste that energy reaching for air in a can. Air in a can, look for it today at your local radio shack. Ooh. Ooh, radio shack. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Jeffy, you got a game for us. Jen, I do. You guys feel like playing a game? Let's do it. All right. This game is Cryptic, Essential Oil, or Booby Rock. We're going to start with Bobby B. I'm going to give him a name. He has to tell me, is it a cryptic? Is it an essential oil? Or is it a powerful crystal? If Bobby gets it wrong, Jen, you can steal after him. Okay, want me to keep score? We'll, yep, keep score. Okay. And then we'll go to you. And then if you get it wrong, vice versa. Okay. Vice versa. Okay. And if you have questions, Bobby, you can ask questions. Not perfect, what's perfect. the answer. I mean, so not really like that. Not, there's not many rules to, to this game. Yeah. All right. Sounds All right. Great. So I'm going to give you a name. You tell me. Is it a booby rack, an essential oil, or a cryptid? First one. Larimar. Larimar. That's going to be a, a booby rock. That is a booby rock. Yeah, Very nice. Did you really know that? I did not. It was off, it's also not. known as the dolphin stone, the goddess oh. stone, hmm. the Atlantis stone. It's blue pectolite and is found in one location in the world on the island of Hispaniola in the Dominican Republic in the Caribbean Sea. Larimar. Ooh. Oh, that's nice. fancy. Oh, man. So <clears throat> good. Wow. Dang, good job. Nice. Okay. All right, Thank you. Jen. Yes. A jewel, a jewel, a d a d j u l e, a jewel. Hmm. Is it a cryptid? Is it essential oil, or is it a booby rock? I'm gonna go cryptid. It's a cryptid. Oh yay! A jewel, aka oh. bush. Bush dog is a canine like animal <laughs> cryptid claimed to live in the North African region close to the Sahara Desert. Cryptid. A bush dog? What was it? It's also known as a bush dog. A bush dog. That's weird. Yep. Okay. All right, Bobby B. All right. Drake of Oh. Drake of <clears throat> What were the three options again? Cryptid. Essential oil or booby rack, aka a powerful crystal. <laughs> <laughs> Essential oil. No. No. Oh, no. Again, for the steel. Okay. Dracovac. Dracovac. How do you spell it again? D R E K A V A C. Dracovac. I'm going cryptid. Cryptid. That's a cryptid. Oh, yeah. Nice. Dracovac, also known as the screamer. Dracovac oh. comes from the souls of children who have died unbaptized. <laughs> oh, my God. Dracovac. Oh, my. All right. <laughs> that all is right. scary as all get out. Don't talk right. about that again. Good one, Jen. Bobby <laughs> B. 
Carol, Caraway. Caraway. <laughs> Yikes. Oh, man. Just still thinking about the souls of those children. <laughs> Anyways, they, were, they were unbaptized. Um, <laughs> carrying them away. Oh, my gosh. Uh, <laughs> you didn't learn about that in your religious studies? Drank back. No, no. no. <laughs> I thought... Uh, I thought you were going to say you could only find it at the Vatican, but that's another story. Oh, yeah. Wow. Right. Okay. Caraway. Uh, C-A-R-A-W-A-Y. Caraway. Wow. That's uh, a stone. You know, one of the... No. Booby rack. No. Yeah. Booby rack. Is Again, not... for the steel. Caraway. Go essential oil. That's an essential oil. Yeah. Caraway. It's used as a flavoring in foods, mouthwashes, and toothpaste. Ew. All right, caraway. Dad, take your caraway and your stinky breath. Caraway. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Thanks. Bobby V. Okay, here you go. Get it. Xiphius. What Zy the flower? Xiphius. <laughs> what the flower? Yeah. All right. <laughs> Safe, yes. That sounds like a booby rock. No. <laughs> no. <laughs> Xiphias, essential oil or an essential cryptid. How, how do you spell it? Z I P H I U S. Xiphias. Oh, I'm. And hit you, Bobby, your guess was a booby rock? Hmm. Was it, Jen? Oh, was it? What was it? What was it? <laughs> what was it? Oh, I don't know if that's part of the rules. Oh, that is not, oh. Oh, not shoot. how this game is played. Oh, I do wonder. <laughs> oh, well, I was trying to think of the spelling when he answered. I apologize. Uh, Forgiven. I could, I, could, I could forgive, apparently. I think my soul was just sucked out of my. Oh. <laughs> 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 uh, I'm going Blooby Rock. Nice. No, no, it is not. It is a cryptid. Xiphia. Gosh, I almost said that. <clears throat> the water okay. owl. It's a monstrous nautical creature said to attack ships in the northern seas. It possessed the body of a fish, the head of an owl, complete with massive eyes and a wedge like shaped beak. Xiphia, meaning sword like in Latin, may refer to the beast's fin, which was said to be able to cleave the hull of a ship like a blade. Xiphias. Whoa! I hope that we don't have nightmares nice. after this. All right. <laughs> okay, it's one. Bobby right. has one, and I have three. All right, Bobby B. Spike Nard. <laughs> Spike Nard. S P I K E N A R D. Spike Nard. Uh, cryptid. No. No. <laughs> I'm so used to the no right now. It just makes me <laughs> I'm expecting it. No. You're consistent. It's okay. Um, I'm yeah. gonna go booby rock. No, essential oil. Spike nard. Okay. The oil has been used over centuries as a perfume, a traditional medicine, or in religious ceremonies across a wide territory from India to Europe. Spike nard. Spike nard. Oh, mm. okay. Nice. All right. Bobby B. Nice. Oris. Come on. Oh. Oris. O-R-R-I-S. O-R-R-I-S. Oris. Okay, that's going to be a rock. It's going to be a blue rock. That is not going to be a blue rock. <laughs> I just wanted the right answer. The same I answer I was expecting. I really wanted you to have the right answer. I keep you consistent. Yeah. Jen. Uh, Oris. Uh, Oris. I'm, go I'm going to go cryptid. <clears throat> no. Essential oil. Come on! Oris. Where are the booby rocks? An essential oil derived from irises, particularly iris germanica. It is sometimes used as a flavoring agent and as an ingredient in perfume production. It can also have uses in body lotions. Oris. 
Okay. Whoa. Right. All right. Bobby B. Or is it something else? Yeah, right. Or is it not that? A funk. A funk. A F A N C. A funk. <laughs> I'm in a funk right now. <laughs> <laughs> um, let's go with uh, essential oil. No. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's not. It's all right. Sorry, Bobby. Jen for the steel, a funk, AFA, NC. I'm going booby rock. That's a cryptid. <laughs> the funk is a lake monster from Welsh myth wealth mythology. It's said to be a crocodile, a dwarf, a demon, or a beaver hybrid. What? A dwarf? Beaver alligator hybrid. Okay, the mm -hmm. funk. All right, Bobby B. A joint. <laughs> it takes me a second to try to pronounce these. Now. A joint. A J O I T E. A joint. Essential oil. No. <laughs> 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 A joint. It better be a booby rock. It's a booby rock. <laughs> a joint is a blue-green copper-based <clears throat> mineral found as an inclusion in quartz crystal mystic lore. Oh, no, it's mystic lore or quartz crystal. It's mystic lore's. Its intuitive source say that a joint can assist in healing old emotional wounds from this life or past lives. A joint. Ooh. Booby rock. Mm. Booby rock. All right. All right, Bobby, you're at one and I have four. You're very close. Bobby V. <laughs> to the bottom. Yeah. Mug mugwort. M-U-G-W-O-R-T. Mugwort. One word. Mugwort. The fact that you said one word, that really helped. Um <clears throat> cryptid. <laughs> it's not a cryptid. Yeah, I knew. I know. No, no go. <laughs> Jen for the steel. Oil. That is an essential oil. Did you know that, Jen? Yeah. Oh, did you? Yeah. Oh, in Europe, mugwort most often refers to a species, Artemisia vulgaris, or common mugwort. Sometimes I use it as a, um, I burn it like sage. Like, oh. so I figured if I had mugwort, it must be made into oil then probably. Right. That or if I, I have some like uh, burning acid ashes. I don't have five gallons of ashes, but I have, you know, when I <laughs> smudge. <laughs> smudge and some mugwort. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All right, Bobby B. Bukavak. <laughs> Bukavak. B-U-K-A-V-A-C. Bukavak. <laughs> Yikes. Here you go, I can feel it. Essential, <laughs> Essential oil. <laughs> no, sorry, Bobby B. <laughs> I'm going cryptid. That's a cryptid. Oh, because the other one, the Bukovac, was a VAC, so so is this one, a Bukovac. Nice. Fuck. So nice. was a Bukovac. Nice. Bukovac is considered a six-legged monster with gnarled horns. It lives in lakes and pools, comes out of the water during the night to make loud noises, and to jump onto people and animals and strangle them. The Bukovac. Oh. Oh, my God. Yes. That is terrible. That is terrible. All right. Bobby B. <laughs> Come on, Bobby. Oh. I'm putting some, a good little juju out there for you. <laughs> All of us. Almas, A L M A S, Almas. Now that's that's a stone. That's one of those bo booby rocks. No, it's not. <laughs> no, it's, it's not, not Bobby B. Of course yeah. not. Sorry. <laughs> and next <laughs> time I'm going to ask the questions. <laughs> uh, Almas. Uh. Hmm. Uh, I'm going essential oil. That is a cryptid. No! <laughs> the Almas is an ape-like cryptid reported from Central Asia. 
They are said to inhabit the Asian mountain regions of Pamir and the Caucasus. You said Caucasus. I <laughs> did. <laughs> All right. Last one. Bobby B. Okay. Neroli. Neroli. Yikes. And N E R O L I. Neroli. Cryptid. No, Bobby B. No, it's not. <laughs> Amazing. <laughs> I'm, I'm enjoying that. No, no, it's not. No, I feel bad <laughs> saying it. Uh, I'm going to say Booby Rock. No, it's not. No, it's not. Essential oil. Neroli has, has limited use in flavoring. The neroli oil is reportedly one of the ingredients in the closely guarded secret recipe for the Coca-Cola soft drink. Oh, I thought it was neroli. like neroli poly. Hmm, no, it'd be a neroli oil. No. Dang, what? you know what, Bobby? You don't need a, a little game to know that you're a winner, okay? You're still a winner. <laughs> I hear that. I feel it. Psych. <laughs> <laughs> Nice. It was still fun, yeah. Yeah, it was six to one. It's okay. Could have been anyone's game. Six to one, half a dozen of the other. It's fine. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> nice. Hilarious. Oh, man. Oh, good times. Good times. All right. What is some pep in the step this week for you guys? Jen, my pep in the step this week, uh, I have two of them. I think. Okay. One would be I finished the TV show Peaky Blinders. Okay. Uh, so Peaky Blinders has been putting a lot of pep in my step. I've watched it before all the way up through the third season. Mm -hmm. And then I petered out somewhere in the third season for some reason. And then I yeah. started it all over, got all the way through it. It's still dynamite. It's just Dang. dynamite. Uh, that, and I'd say my second pep in the step has been birthday shopping for the kids. Okay. Uh, the stuff I got them, I'm psyched about. Found one. My oldest son, he's 16, he's into vinyls, and uh, he recently got into cassettes, so he's been taking his MP3s and his records and putting them onto blank tapes, and yeah. then listening to the blank tapes in a crappy radio that he has. Okay. So I bought him a nice boombox, like a nice boombox. Nice. That's also Bluetooth and MP3 and cassette, so he's yeah. taking his songs off his MP3s and everything now, putting them on, and they sound better. Bought him a whole crap load of brand new blank cassette tapes awesome. and a boombox. So shopping for the kids, bought them a couple of vinyls, give me a reason to go to a lot of record stores and crap. Nice. Good times. Good times. That's awesome. Yeah. How about you, Bobby V? What you got going for your little pep in the step? <clears throat> if, if I'm understanding, yeah. Uh, it means like, you know, what I've been doing, right? What I've, yeah, just something that you're excited uh, about. Yep. Yeah. Uh, well, just recently uh, finished up mostly uh, remodeling my wife's business. She's got a massage business in Concord, North Carolina. Okay. And uh, nice. we've, it's been a few months. We've been working on it and, and we're almost done. But, you know, it's taken a lot of sacrifice and whatnot, you know, going to work all day and then after work, yeah. going there and trying to finish that up. So Is we're almost done. So I could, yeah, it's open now. Okay. Yeah. What's it it's called? A, yeah. It's called the Ahonu You Massage and Wellness. But it's okay. uh, Honu is H O N U, it's a Hawaiian word. And my wife is a fan of Hawaii. She lived there for a few years. Oh, nice. So it's H-O-N-U, a whole new you, massage and wellness. So it's like a wordplay. Oh, I love that. Yeah, it's nice. It's on Market Street uh, in Concord, North Carolina. Do you yeah. like when you right. leave, do you just get like a little lay right there? Do you just, does she put a lay on you <laughs> and then you leave? No? Oh. Can't. Yeah, she, ha she hasn't incorporated that. <laughs> that. That might be a great idea, actually. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> Right. Yeah, Jen, <laughs> we've been putting pep in your step. Yeah, so I love books, and I feel like a lot of times I can't read fast enough, so I'll get them on Audible. And I've been listening to a new book called The Alter Ego, and it's great. I love listening to it because it's giving you a different perspective on how to see things differently. A lot of sports figures do it. Um, people that struggle with trying to be confident when they really aren't and they just need confidence in like one area of their life. So for example, if you're a presenter or even a comedian, so say somebody's a comedian and they go out on stage and they're having just a really hard time trying to find their 
persona or their like performance good juju to get out there. And you can create like an alter ego, kind of like Beyonce did with like Sasha Fierce or um, other Olympians have done this where they'll like turn into this other person or use like, you know, Batman or Superman or, you know, an alter ego like that to just get that confidence to go out there and to be the performer that they need to be for that amount of time. What was that it's called? Not, it's called the alter ego. And it's not it's not anything I've even thought about because I just go out there and have always been myself. And so my coach recommended it to our group. And so I thought, well, let me listen to it. And it's, it's awesome. I love it. It's by Todd Herman and it's an easy listen and he gives great examples and different ways to implement that into your life. So say for example, you're a salesperson <clears throat> and in life, you're kind of shy, but really in a sales call, you'd have to be like confident and, you know, so you can kind of step into that persona of whoever. And right. he was even talking about Martin Luther King Jr., how he didn't wear glasses. And when he would do speeches, he would put his glasses on to feel more studious and feel um, kind of fill that role of being seen differently. Right. So, nice. yeah. And just kind of having like, almost like booby rocks, right? Like putting in your booby rocks if you need to feel that kind of like energetic little kick. So, yeah, right. that's been my pep and my step this week. So I'm super excited about that. Excellent. Yeah. Excellent. Yeah, yeah. Good times. Well, thanks again to Bobby V for being here. And we wish you lots and lots of like, you know, I know you're doing some comedy and you wanted to do like we're just getting back out there and you know things aren't opening yes. up yet and yes. um but just keep doing you I, i'm watching your videos and i love seeing all your funny little snippets that you put out there yeah. and yeah. Just keep <laughs> laughing and having a great time and i wish your yeah. wife and her uh massage business lots and lots of success thank you so yeah. much and thank you for having me on here yeah yeah good time and we will see you again next week okay see all ya right. See ya. Okay. This segment of So Much Genergy is brought to you by February's birthstone, Amethyst. Amethyst is a powerful and protective stone. Powerful and protective stone. Amethyst protects against psychic attack. Psychic attack. attack. Amethyst transmutes that energy into love and protects the wearer from all types of harm, including electromagnetic and ill wishes from others. Ill wishes from others. Amethyst calms and stimulates the mind, enhancing memory and motivation. Enhances memory and motivation. Alvidazane Amethyst. Alvidazane. Alvidazane Amethyst. Alvidazane. Amethyst transmutes the energy. Oops. Alvidazane, Amethyst. Alvidazane.